to the first episode of the Old Ass Retro Gamer. My name is Chris Pico. I'm an indie filmmaker, and I recently made the decision to get back into retro video game collecting. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of history. I've been gaming since I was a small child. Back in 1980, my father bought my family an Atari 2600, and I've been gaming ever since. I've owned most of the major systems along the road. And... Back in 2000, I really got into retro video game collecting, and I amassed a very, very large collection for most systems. Uh, but about three years ago, I had lost my job of 11 years, and I, you know, didn't have a job for almost four months, and I needed to find a way to, you know, have money to pay the bills. So I ended up selling virtually my entire collection. Uh, it was it was a hard thing to do, but it needed to be done in order to survive, and I do regret having to do go to go that far but you know it, it had to happen so about three months ago i started watching videos on youtube from like metal jesus rocks and pete door and gamester 81 uh, game sack and it kind of reignited my passion for video gaming and i decided that i was going to start getting back into it i was going to do it right this time at least for me and uh, go for a complete inbox for the majority of the games that i was going for um, every game I've bought so far, I've made sure that it is complete in box. I haven't bought anything loose or any, or, you know, like that. I, it's just not my thing anymore. Of course, I really like the way they look on the shelves. And as you can see over here, I've got this gigantic new set of shelves to display them in. Uh, so, uh, I figured I'd start off the first few episodes with me showing what I pre, what I already own or what I've already added to my collection since, uh, I started back up with the collecting. And I'll start with the Atari systems. Uh, I have Atari 2600 games and I have some 7800s. But uh, I'll start with the complete in-box games that I've bought since I started collecting again. And they are The Adventures of Tron. Uh, I am a huge Tron fan. Oh, I have posters of it and props and whatnot all over my apartment. And one of the first goals I set for myself when I started gaming was that I was going to make damn sure that I get every Atari and Intellivision Tron game that was out there. And then I also decided I was going to go for the Game Boy Advance and the Xbox 360, or the Xbox the game and everything. But yeah, the first thing I made sure I was going to do was get all these Tron games for the old classic systems. So this is the first one I got. Astro Blast. I've never played this before. It came in a lot that I bought of all these M Network, which is uh, Mattel games, which came with Adventures of Tron and a few others that you'll see later on. There's Breakaway 4, which is a breakout clone. Uh, I've never actually played this, but it came in another lot that I bought with a whole bunch of other games. Burger Time is one of my all time favorite games. Uh, I, I had this on the Nintendo, and I played it all the time, and I actually have an app on my phone that's like an emulator that lets me play old Nintendo games, and I play the Nintendo version all the time. There's Carnival. It's a ColecoVision game that was ported over to the Atari. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's, a, it's, 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 it's not the greatest game, but it's fun. This game is amazing. It's Kaboom by Activision, and I decided that I wanted to get this game pretty early on because I used to watch the Jace Hall show a lot back in the day and whenever he would show or use this game to show off his mad gamer skills, you know, quote unquote, uh, to his guests, he would always show this game because he sucked at playing pretty much every other game that was out there, but this is the only one he was good at. But I've always been pretty good at this game and it was really fun. This game is based on a movie that was one of my favorites back in the 80s and it still is and it's always been my favorite Atari 2600 game of all time, uh, and I made damn sure that I found a copy still in the box, and I actually got one that's sealed. Uh, I don't know if I want to open it or not, but I might just so I can play it, and that is Krull. This is probably one of the best movie tie-in games ever made, and when you consider the ones that have been released for the Atari, like E.T. and Raiders of the Lost Ark, which pretty much sucked, um, it's pretty... Uh, surprising that they were actually able to make a game like this that's that follows the plot of the movie and is fun and very playable and still holds up as far as I'm concerned to this day. So I was very happy that I managed to get a sealed copy of this. I, I'm so happy. 
There's Lock and Chase, another M Network game. Uh, it's like a Pac Man clone. There is Reactor by Parker Brothers. Uh, it's a, it's a fun game. It's it, it. I'm surprised it actually has different levels that you know they change the design and all that instead of just using the same one over and over again like in Pac Man. Uh, Real Sports Baseball. It's a baseball game. Slot Racers. Racing game. Duh. Space Attack. Another M Network game. Which is like... It looks like Star Raiders. But I have never played this myself. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, the one where you're a snow speeder and you take out ad ads and that's all you do. Uh, it's a fun game, but as I tried it out on an emulator not too long before I decided to start collecting again... It, it, it gets old after about five minutes. But, you know, it's this is a very nostalgic game for me because I played the shit out of this as a kid. Venture. It's another awesome Coleco game that was ported over to the Atari. Another one of my favorites. Um, it's kind of like playing Berserk mixed with Adventure. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait to actually get an Atari 2600 and be able to play these games on again because I, I really want to play this. And Wizard of War, which is kind of like another Berserk meets Pac-Man clone. Uh, but I remember this being pretty fun back in the day, too. Okay, and then those are all the inbox games that I had managed to buy. But I did have a large amount of loose cartridges left over from when I was selling all this stuff online. And um, I do plan on replacing these with inbox copies at some point. But until then, I'm going to keep them, uh, just because some of them are, are pretty rare, and I don't want to get rid of them just yet, just in case it's hard to get a, a box copy. I don't want to get rid of them and not have it. So I'll name these off really quickly, because there's a lot of them. Uh, Airlock. Let's see that. Yes, Airlock. Amadar. Armor Ambush. Old-ass Blackjack. Blueprint. Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom. Yes. Coconuts. Commando Raid. Congo Bongo, Sega's answer to Donkey Kong. It's pretty awesome. Cosmic Arc. This is one of my favorites as a kid. It's kind of like a variation of Defender. Demons to Diamonds. That's a, another fun one. Donkey Kong Jr. Egomania. Encounter at L5. Entombed. Final Approach. Ghostbusters. This game sucks. G.I. Joe, Cobra Strike. Really cool arcade port of Gorf. And Gravitar. Gyrus. The Blue Label Activision Ice Hockey. I think this is actually kind of rare. Could be wrong, but I, I assumed it was. Uh, Infiltrate. Another favorite, Jungle Hunt. Looking for an inbox copy of this, too. Junior Pac-Man. Kangaroo. Mad, or M-A-D. Really cool pinball game, Midnight Madness. I'm sorry, Midnight Magic. Midnight Madness is that. Monsters game. Uh, Mountain King. This is a really cool game with really cool music. So for an Atari 2600 game. Music, yeah. Uh, Mousetrap, another ColecoVision game. No Escape. Picnic. Pigs in Space. Planet Patrol. Riddle of the Sphinx, a game that I had no idea what the hell I was doing the entire time I played this as a child. Sky Skipper. This is a pretty rare game, I think. Sorcerer. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Space Cavern. 
Spider-Man. Another game I feel is pretty rare. I need to look it up. Star Fox. Not the Nintendo one, obviously. Star Raiders, which is pretty useless as long as I don't have that special controller and the inlay for it. So I'm looking for a box copy of this. One of my all-time favorite Atari games. Star Trek Strategic Tactical Simulator. Or Strategic Operation Simulator, sorry. Get my Trek uh, terminology mixed up. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Arena. Strawberry Shortcake. Musical Matchups. It's so adorable. Tapeworm. Taz. Tutankham. Warlords. That's another fun one. And Winter Games by Epics. I also managed to keep a couple of my Supercharger games, which were Atari 2600 games that played through a tape recorder. I know that's a foreign concept nowadays, but damn. But I still managed to keep Communist Mutants from Space. There it is. And Fireball. Now I just need to get a Supercharger. And then I managed to also keep, out of the big collection of 7800 games I used to have, I have four left. I have Hat Trick. Hockey. Jinx, Real Sports Baseball, and Super Huey, which I remember being pretty fun. Okay, so that is what I have amassed so far for the Atari 2600 um, and the 7800. Um, I'm going to continue looking for inbox copies of these games that I have loose right now, and I will sell these off as I go. Uh, I'm also looking for other games that I remember having as a child that uh, I want to re I want to reclaim for myself. And uh, next time I will go over the Nintendo Entertainment System games that I have collected.